This is Akashwani, the news read by Hage Ani. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the first ever national training conclave at the International Exhibition and Convention Center at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi tomorrow. The national training conclave is being hosted by Capacity Building Commission with the objective to foster collaboration among civil services training institutes and strengthen the training infrastructure for civil servants across the country. More than 1,500 representatives from various training institutes, including central training institutes, state administrative training institutes, regional and zonal training institutes, and research institutes will participate in the conclave. Civil servants from the central government departments, state departments, and local governments, as well as experts from the private sector, will take part in the deliberations. The conclave will have eight panel discussions, each focusing on key concerns related to civil services training institutes, such as faculty development, training impact assessment, and content digitization. The Prime Minister has been a proponent of improving the governance process and policy implementation in the country through capacity building of civil services. Guided by this vision, the National Programme for Civil Services Capacity Building Mission Karma Yogi was launched to prepare a future-ready civil service with the right attitude, skills and knowledge. The conclave is yet another step in this direction. The Centre has constituted a peace committee in Manipur under the chairpersonship of State Governor Anusuya Uike to facilitate the peacemaking process among various ethnic groups. The committee, which comprises Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, some state ministers, MPs, MLAs and leaders from different political parties will hold peaceful dialogue and negotiations among conflicting parties and groups. The mandate of the committee is also to strengthen the social cohesiveness, mutual understanding and facilitate cordial communication among various ethnic groups. Former civil servants, educationists, literatures, Artists, social workers and representatives of both ethnic groups are also part of the committee. Last month, during his visit to Manipur, Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced the constitution of the Peace Committee after taking stock of the situation. The central government announced yesterday four important initiatives to strengthen 1514 urban cooperative banks in the country. To realize Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Sahakar Se Samriti, these vital measures were notified after the detailed discussions held by Union Home Minister and Minister of Cooperation Amit Shah with Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and the RBI Governor. The measures which have been notified by the Reserve Bank of India include allowing the urban cooperative banks to open new branches permitting these banks for one-time settlement at par with commercial banks, giving them two years more to meet the priority sector lending targets and designating a nodal officer in RBI. The Ministry of Cooperation in a statement said that UCBs can now open new branches up to 10% of the number of branches in the previous financial year without prior approval of RBI in their approved area of operation. To avail the facility, UCVs have to get the policy approved by their board and comply with the financially sound and well-managed norms. The ministry added that now cooperative banks through board-approved policies can provide process for technical write-off as well as settlement with borrowers. This has brought cooperative banks at par with other commercial banks now. Madhya Pradesh government is launching a unique scheme this evening to make women financially independent. In the scheme named Largely Behna, each woman will be given 1,000 rupees per month. Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan will deposit the first month's amount of the scheme in the bank accounts of about 1.25 crore women at a state level function in Jabalpur today. Largely Behna Yojana was announced on the 5th of March this year and in about 35 days, more than 1 crore 25 lakh women have filled the applications for the enrollment under this scheme. The state government has also issued a phone number 181 for the help of women. Apart from this, Largely Behna Army will also be formed for women empowerment and security. In Kerala, the Met Department forecasts widespread rain with thunder and lightning and wind in the state for the next four days. Certain regions in Kerala witnessed heavy rains due to the effect of the super cyclone Biparjoy in the Arabian Sea and low pressure in the Bay of Bengal and Monsoon. 
In the next 24 hours, Cyclone Beeper Joey is expected to intensify and move north and northeast. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.